Let's have a look at the classic locker problem and how we can solve it with some code here. So the problem is there are 100 closed lockers down a hallway and 100 students. The first student goes through the hallway and opens every locker because it was closed. Second student goes to every second locker and closes it because it was open. Third student goes through and every third locker closes it, closes it if it's open, opens it if it's closed. Fourth student goes to every fourth locker, changes its state, and so on. Pattern continues until all the students have gone through the hallway, how many lockers are left open, and which lockers are left open. So to solve this, we will first uh, start off with a variable, number of lockers is 100. We could change that, and we might change that a little later to try out some different things, but uh, we'll make a list of lockers that are all false, as in, are they open? No, false. Uh, so times the number of lockers, so that'll give us a list of 100 lockers that are all not open. So then we're going to iterate down through the list of students. So for student number in the range from 1 to the number of lockers plus 1. So we'll, uh, we'll iterate through 100 students here. And each time we do for locker number in the range from 0 to the number of lockers, we can maybe talk later about the numbering system starting from 0 versus starting from 1, but this is good enough for now. And so for each of those locker numbers, if the locker number plus 1 is divisible by student number with a remainder of 0, so this modulus operator means divide and give me the remainder, uh, if that remainder is 0, then uh, the, so for for example, locker. If we're looking at student number four, locker number four, locker number eight, locker number twelve, those will all be divisible by four with a remainder of zero. So if that happens, then we're going to change the state of the locker. So if the locker uh, locker number four from this list of lockers will now be not equal to what the value of it was before. So if it's a zero, if it's a false, it will become a true and so on. So if we run this code, we now see that the first one ends up true and this one here ends up true and this one down here, but it's not really easy to, we could go through this list and figure out count them and, and things like that. But let's use a library called pandas. We'll create a data frame from that list and it'll have just one column and the column will be if it's open uh, and the list will be the lockers list that we've been dealing with before. And we're going to add one to the index so that the numbering starts from one and not zero. We run this and display the data frame as what the last line means there. And so we see number one ends up true, that is open, number four is open, and so on all the way down to 100. Okay. But again, we have this long list that doesn't really tell us, it's not easy to tell which ones are open. So one more time, we'll create a new data frame that is just that uh, previous data frame, just the ones where open is true. And then we'll display that new data frame that's called open lockers. And we see that the lockers 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, and 100 are all left open. And so, of course, there's a pattern that you should recognize in there. And I want you to think about why that pattern might be there. But how many lockers are left open? We can find that by counting these and which lockers are left open, of course, is indicated in that data frame. So that's a start of a solution to the classic locker problem. Let me know in the comments if you have any comments or questions and a link to this Jupyter notebook on GitHub will also be posted in the video description. Have fun.